The value of economic uh, electronic payment transaction rose year on year by 298% to 135,005.2 trillion naira in the first quarter of the year from 34.04 trillion naira in the first quarter of 2022, reflecting the impact of cash scarcity on the payment culture of Nigerians. Now, the cash scarcity, which lingered for more than two months, was a fallout of the implementation of the Naira redesign policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria. The policy involved the redesign and release of 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira notes. The Apex Bank also announced that the old notes would cease to be legal tender by January 31st this year. After much pleading, the CBN moved the date to February the 10th, while the CBN withdrew from circulation over 2 trillion Naira of the old notes. The new notes were, however, not widely available. This led to cash rationing by banks, while POS agents imposed exorbitant cash exchange charges, sometimes as high as 30% of the transaction value. We will focus on the electronic payment transactions and payment culture on the show today. Business Insight starts now. I am Justin Akadone. Welcome back. Now, Selplat Energy in Nigeria has said that the Nigerian Immigration Service has withdrawn and discontinued the legal action it instituted at the Federal High Court against the Chief Executive Officer of the energy firm over allegations of racism and discrimination. The notice of withdrawal discontinuance of the action was dated April 6, 2023 and issued by the Director of Legal Services of the Nigeria Immigration Service and stated in part that the claimant hereby discontinues all the proceedings in the charge against the above named defendant. Seplat said the, co the company continues to engage with the Ministry of Interior to bring closure to the false allegations presented to the ministry and as a result of which the residency status of its chief executive officer was withdrawn. Well, we'll move on next now. The Minister of Works and Housing, the Batunde Fashola, says over 700 kilometers of roads spreading across 11 states in the country would be soon completed. Fashola disclosed this while briefing State House correspondent on the outcome of the meeting of the Federal Executive Council FEC on Wednesday in Abuja. The meeting was presided over by the Vice President, Professor Yemio Shibajo. Fashola said over 1.5 trillion naira would be spent on the project by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC. Now, the Nigerian and Chinese governments have agreed to boost the volume of trade between both countries, which the federal government says is over $12 billion. This was disclosed on Thursday by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Evelyn Ngige, at the China-Nigeria Investment Economic and Trade Promotion Conference organized by Changsha Municipal Bureau of Commerce. China, Asia's largest economy, has increasingly become Nigeria's most important trade partner, as research recently reported that China accounts for 38% of all imports to Nigeria over the last five years, making it the dominant destination for Nigeria's imports. Now, the House of Representatives has ordered the aviation minister, Hadi Sirika, the post the planned demolition of aviation agency offices in Lagos in a bid to stop the numerous strikes in the sector. The lawmakers cautioned that the issues between the unions and the government have lingered for over eight years with several agreements signed between the unions and the government. The directive is contained in a letter to the minister and signed by the clerk, Senate Committee on Aviation, Franca Mba, and her House of Representatives counterpart, Basi Edem. Now, the National Assembly Joint Committee on Aviation stated that that was the fallout of the two-day warning strike embarked upon by aviation unions, adding that it was working to ensure an amicable resolution of the issues. You're watching Business Insights on Plus TV Africa. will take yet another break and return. Stay with us. <laughs> 